For the top news headlines, amid Assam protests, Shinzo Abe cancels India Japan annual summit in Guwahati. UN closely analyzing possible consequences of Citizenship Amendment Bill, says UN. Citizenship Amendment Bill gets President Accent becomes Act. Ram Madhav urges civil society groups, insurgent groups to come forward. Good evening and welcome to Times of Manipur. This is Suresh Kungban Tabam giving you the news. Now the news in detail. The annual India-Japan summit scheduled to be held in Guwahati between December 15 and 17 has been cancelled. The announcement came after protesters against the Citizenship Amendment Bill brought the city to a standstill. According to media reports, both sides have decided to defer the visit to a mutually convenient debt in the near future. Sources said that while the Indian government was keen to hold this summit on schedule and move it to Delhi, the Japanese side felt it would be better to postpone the meeting until it is held in Guwahati so that the theme of this year's summit that focuses on Japan's investment in the Northeast region can be maintained. The UN is closely analyzing the possible consequences of India's amendment. Citizenship Act, a spokesperson for UN chief Antonio Guterres has said, insisting that the world body has its basic principles including those enshrined in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and expect those to be upheld. According to the amended act, members of Hindu, Sikh, Jain, Buddhist, Parsi and Christian communities who have come from Pakistan, Bangladesh and Afghanistan till December 31st, 2014 and facing religious persecution there will not be treated as illegal immigrants but given Indian citizenship. This citizenship amendment bill was passed by the Rajya Sabha on December 11 and by the Lok Sabha on December 8. The act says the refugees of the six communities will be given Indian citizenship after residing in India for five years instead of earlier requirement of 11 years. Deputy spokesman of, for the General Secretary, General, Secretary General Farhan Haq said that they are aware of the passage of bill in the Indian parliament and aware of the concerns that have been publicly expressed. Hug added that he would also like to draw attention to the fact that some of the UN human rights mechanisms, including reporters, have already been expressing their concerns about the nature of this law. And can see those from the Human Rights Office on whether there will be any statement after the UN completes its analysis of the possible consequences of the law, Hug said they will have to see what the nature of reaction needs to be. President Ramnath Kovin on Thursday gave his assent to the Citizenship Amendment Bill 2019, turning it into an act. According to an official notification, the act comes into effect with its publication in the official gadget, Gazette on Thursday. A media report said, according to the act, members of Hindu, Sikh, Buddhist, Jain, Parsi and Christian communities who have come from Pakistan, Bangladesh and Afghanistan till December 31st, 2014 and facing religious persecution there will not be treated as illegal immigrants but given Indian citizenship. This citizenship amendment bill was passed by Rajya Sabha on Wednesday and Lok Sabha on Monday. BJP National General Secretary Ram Madhav today claimed that the ongoing Anti-Citizenship Amendment Act agitation in the Northeast region has been erupted because of some groups who are taking political advantage out of the issue. Madhav arrived in Imphal today to assess the upcoming presidential election of BJP. Addressing a function to welcome him at the Ima Market Imphal, Ram Madhav highlighted on various development works taken up by the BJP-led government in the state during the last two and a half years. He also mentioned about the government's initiative towards bridging the gap between the hills and valley of Manipur. 
Ram Madhav also urged the general public to work for bringing peace in the state and appealed to all civil society groups and insurgent groups in the state to come forward and put up their demands before the center. At the same time, Chief Minister N. Biren mentioned that the state is lacking progress due to a slew of issues originated from the past. He urged the masses to help put an end to all issues and concentrate on developmental activities and work for bringing about peace in the state. Balistan for a short commercial break, but coming up next, Chief Minister N. Biren Singh inaugurates second Barak Festival. Dave, a premier study circle, holiday special, day camp, class 1 to 8 starting 11 December 2019, timing 11 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Foundation course for class 9 and 10, subjects, science, social science and mathematics, starting 16 December 2019, registration on or before 10 December 2019, van service available. Maximum 20 students per class for class 9 and 10. For more details, please visit Baldev. Uripo Khoisnam Lekai Imphal. Ano ba mo din ngayon pa? Go man ki thaba ma soy na pangbaya argani. ICS Coaching Center na 100% job pangna ba gita magta guarantee pizro lagli. India kyo na sarka gita pa kwaite ki masing na pangali ba ICS Coaching Center Imphal aso hangan. ICS ki thodo ba fisa sing di course amakaki preparation to biraga. Tungan tungan ba department sing di high ba di banking, railway, post office, home, teaching, defence. Court, high wishing as it is that have a line of Pangalagan. I see a ski teaching method now. Minute Marie Nataka Manga Sanga of a question sing book, second Ahum Nataka Marie the source of Bongamale. In Father Leriba, I see a coaching center to the boarding Kudong Sarzu Tamzari. For details, please contact I see a coaching center in Fall Kasantom Hodam Lera Krumjari Lamzimba Finance Namakal Kudimaki Gari Singh Hibadi, two wheelers, four wheelers, commercial vehicles, and the commercial equipment sing with a long pizzeri. Documents is an amadi processing matam changdana. Ya amna live among the loan from Biragani. Amadi adong the achin batu bagi dama, may amna wabi ragano. Makal kudi maki gari kea su bandan dozari. Press mask yoi baka the bow of first pisari. A kupamaro gidamata links in Bira u Lamzingba Finance. Nagamapa, Rims Road, Opoji, Nitain in the temple. Natragana. Lamzingba Finance, Uripok, Havam Divan Lekai. A quick phone number 6909959834 da contacto bro. Sangai Tuition Center, admission open for revision course for class 10 and 12. Classes are going on. New foundation course for class 6 to 10 and 12. Classes commencing on 19 December. Mock tests will be held on every Sunday with spoken class for English and Hindi. Mathematical technique for better understanding and acquire more scientific knowledge. We also provide study materials. Vision for toppers. 10% fee concession for students of government schools. 20% fee concession for local students. 50% fee concession for physically challenged students. Hostel for boys and girls. Van service available. For details, please contact Sangai Tuition Center Kokwa or call us at 98561-55400 or 8787-690-436. Welcome back after the break. Chief Minister N. Biren Singh today inaugurated the second Barak Festival celebrated under the theme Confluence of Cultures with much fanfare and exciting display of colorful cultural items at Mini Stadium, Senapati District Headquarters. 
The three-day festival is organized by Tourism Department, Naga People's Organization, and Barak Festival Organizing Committee. The event was attended by PHED Minister L. Dikho, MLA Ngamthang Haukip, ADC Sanapati Chairman, A. Kapani, Vice President of NPO Adani David Choro, and former Minister Francis Ngazopa. Speaking on the occasion, Chief Minister N. Biren Singh raised concern over this smaller number of people at the occasion. Biren said that the state government would make all-out efforts to internationalize the festival to attract more visitors and tourists. Nan issues kaya issue wohe na balang nai political wohe dabo kaya political wohe na balang nai adu kuma maya mama balang nai adu bo peoples are with us now Manipur ki majority people sa ngasi ki government si kalay adu mana bunga siya kwe na sugumba festival ama ukrul da senapati da tameng long da pangkok bunga maya bani maya mga support maya mga lab na tadi cooperation na tadi nga moy adu maya mpo na mag Nung si sana na nung ay na enjoy tobio, live si pungon dana popo pun si ne. Ako nung si na besina, that is the most important. Ako ay amaga amaga respect tawo na ba, amaga amaga understanding lai na ba. Ado na human value, human trust. Ado tigi handbag respect ne. Barak festival si sahi kudingi. Tiyak ta kaya dana fajana pangkok pangamba o handbio ay dana i ishorium from the korum jerga i maya bomo na korum jeri. Talking about the current unrest in the northeast over CAB, especially in Assam and Tripura, Biren expressed his concern over the loss of life and injuring of several others. <laughs> Chief Minister prayed for early restoration of peace Probably and tranquility in Assam and other Sinabha. neighboring states. <laughs> Biren said that peace has been slowly restoring in the state, adding that any issue can be shorted out through dialogue. The chief minister asserted that a handful of anti-peace people have been trying to create havoc in the state. <laughs> Following the breakdown of law and order situation, security has been intensified in Dibrugar, the home district of the Assam chief minister. According to a report, curfew has been imposed in this district to maintain law and order. Army has been taking out flag masses in the sensitive areas of the district. The anti-CAB protesters blocked the Mankota Road, slashing down trees, burning tires for hours and raised slogans against the BJP government. After that, security forces fired tear gas and rubber bullets targeting the protesters. The anti-CAB protesters also attacked at the RSS office in Dibrugar and torched two motorcycles. The protesters also set fire to rooms of the office and damaged all the belongings in the room. Despite being present at the spot of the incident, the police failed to stop the unruly mob. A clash took place at Dolaizan between the police and anti-CAB protesters in which 13 people, including the officer in charge of Dolaizan police station, Rup Jyoti Datta, were injured. The injured were rushed to Assam Medical College and Hospital AMCH and they are undergoing treatment at the hospital. We have our Guwahati Bureau Chief Hamanta on the line. Hamanta? Yes, sir. Can you hear me, Hamanta? Yes, sir. Okay. Today Can you the... please give us the latest update on anti CAB protests in Guwahati and other parts of Assam? Yes, sir. Today is the fourth day in protesting against the case. Civilized in Guwahati is highly disturbed, and people are started suffering from food and scarcity due to the ongoing protests from the last four days in Guwahati. Hence, uh, this will have a catastrophic impact over the entire northeastern region as Guwahati being the gateway of Modi. Army stacked black mass at different places. Echoes are from the protest against cutting of, of the citizenship bill. Center moving more than 5,000 paramilitary troops and 24 companies to control the raging protest. But normal life resumed today in early morning and the curfew has been suspended from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. in Guwahati and Dibugar. However, during the derogatory situation, the curfew has further extended till tomorrow evening, Suresh.
Hemanta. Uh, yes, what is uh, the current situation there? Tell us about uh, the security uh, measures being taken up there. Yes, uh, uh, so yes, government already closed all education institutions, including Guwahati University, Dibugar University, and Patel University, and all examinations are also deferred. All internet network services are shut down. All train airways are cancelled, and national highways are blocked still now. According to sources, many buses from Manipur are stuck at nearby areas of Guwahati and thousands of passengers, including passengers, are also suffering and unable to return to their homes. It is advisable that the people who even plan to visit Assam should cancel their trip. And thousands of protesters come out city area attacks, uh, government offices and private offices and burn fires with the police and many days slogans protesting against the case. In, in a two-day press meet, the Guwahati Medical Police Authority announced that four persons shot dead and another one died during the research. There are 27 wounded injured and we are very critical that in ICU. So that one big question for everyone that Indian President Raman Kobe signed the case and has given the constitutional recognition yesterday. Now, it is worth mentioning that how ASU and other organizations ready to appeal the issue to the Supreme Court. The ASU and other organizations are serving 10 hours of hunger strike at Sanmani in today. Meanwhile, IGP of Maharashtra, Abdul Rahman, has resigned opposing the case. Even the UNO also opposed the bill. And very importantly, uh, PM Narendra Modi and his Japanese counterpart supposed to visit Assam on 15 of this month for three days program as part of the India-Japan meet. However, being the situation, this visit has also cancelled. Consequently, leaders like Akhil Gogoi are put behind the bar and announced that the all oil palm are also to be shut down till the withdrawal of the cartoon. ASU has announced that there is the involvement of the third party in the ongoing agitation who are committing violence and put the situation under violence. Therefore, the students' organizations told that they will continue the movement up to the first end only, but the movement will continue democratically and peacefully in the declaration of the AS Nam and Void Suras. Thank you so much. That was the report from uh, our Bureau Chief Hamanta from Gahati. Thank you so much, Hamanta. A two-day notice conclave on the theme inclusivity, unity and leadership in public health was kicked off today at the mini conference hall of Jenims Imphal. The conclave is jointly organized by Department of Community Medicine, Regional Institute of Medical Sciences, RIMS Imphal and Jawaharlal Nehru Institute of Medical Sciences, Jenims Imphal East. Delegates from Northeastern states and resource persons from WHO India Office, All India Institute of Medical Sciences, AMS Delhi, Jipmer Pondicherry are attending the conclave. Participating in the opening function, Principal Secretary Health and Family Welfare V. Wunlun Mang underlined on the importance of public health, saying that organizing such conclave will help improve the public health through exchange of ideas, knowledge and experiences among the health experts from across the globe. Many of them do not have symptoms in the initial stages. Many of our people, in fact, do not know that they are having the danger signs and they are having need for care and checkup. But now that we are screening, that population is now building up. In fact, in our health and wellness centers, now that we have this uh, recorded patients on either the requiring diabetes side or the BP side, this adequate supply of medicines is becoming a challenge. Again, a pressure point. But I call it a good pressure point. The realization of the need is there, the prescription is there with them, and the expectation is also building up. So, not only at that level, some of them will now require, this pool of patients will now require even higher level of care. So that is where 
I feel it becomes relevant for institutions like NIMS and NIMS also that unlike the past, the number of uh, persons requiring healthcare medication is going to increase. All Manipur Students Union MSU, Manipur Students Federation MSF, Democratic Students Alliance of Manipur Desam and Kangli Park Students Association KSA organized a protest rally at Jiribam today demanding unconditional release of six students who were arrested by police during anti-CAB protest. The rally kicked off from Jiribam High Secondary School and culminated at IB Karong. The students chanted slogans demanding unconditional release of the students' volunteers. Taking part in the rally, Divet and Extension Secretary of Jiribam High Secondary School Students Union, Oinam Johnson Singh, urged this authority to release the six students without any condition. The Silong Manipuri Students Union, SMSU, has condemned the arrest of MSU leaders. In a press statement, SMSU demands unconditional release of all the arrested student leaders immediately. The union also demanded the Manipur government to stop harassing and assaulting of students and people of Manipur. A three-day-long 45th annual athletic meet of Sainik School Imphal was opened by Works Minister T.H. Biswajit today. Speaking at the opening function, Minister Biswajit said that Signing School Imphal has made immense contribution for the betterment of Manipur since it was established in the state. Biswajit said the school has produced many bright students for which Raksha Mantra Award for the year 2010-2011 has been conferred on this prestigious institution. The minister further stressed on the importance of hard work in a student's life and being self-sacrificing if they want to move ahead. At the opening function, students of the school perform bunker blasting drill, gymnastics, and a whole lot more. They are now equipping their inter combat. Okay, the three B S A wall is moving so fast. Adana masigi lady pa yang chali bista. Okay, kamai thamna chakka thake hai bosi. Okay, isha isha na. ไอ้ไฮเบอร์วอคคลอนฮาดอกะไอ้ควยเกมียามเกไฮเบอร์วอคคลอนซีดะจัดละบ่มะตําตะตะควยเฮนะนุชีนะบ่เฮนกะนี
ichabu apab school dam hai tamhan biyo i icha kaina apab school hai di lanai coaching to bugi awab le hinda ba school du da dum chang nai na coaching to hun ba mama ma pa ga cha mana na warak wa tembi ba gym aerobic dance football thang ta mama ang da 12 exam gi topper su putho khra ba khoi digi chaw ba nan ba khoi digi pab school sloplen public school khongjom chum bra chum me yam khang ni ko yes only sloplen public school khongjom Takshila Institute most trusted national brand with 27 centers from India 21 plus years experience in need G coaching highly qualified IITians NITians and doctor as permanent faculties 25000 plus success stories in the past 21 years online offline doubt clearing session study materials designed by Takshila research and development cell smart class with centralized live classes from head office at delhi 24 hours wifi campus brought to you by heritage convent at thangwei ban dm college road imphal contact number 6009445522 Your favorite satellite channel Times of Manipur Tom TV is now on Airtel Digital TV on channel number 646 Traditional Healing Center Adungai ipai pu haktak tagi chanarak laba maite hidang na laing jeri iram damda fangli ba mana masing kaya sizin aduna side effect laitana laing jeri hakchang gi mari suba saru sayang samba amadi singli lon sinaba khaktana tana hakchang phagat pangam dana leiba kaya phagal han mangam ba laing ni ngasimak lengsen biro traditional healing center national game village road lamfel part 795004 contact number 9612558587 ki ahan ba amsung ani suba ibbf fitness miss india contest ani ra gol loduna manipur gaming set pura krabi joysni debi gi instruction makhada hangdok sere valentina fitness center nupi khakta gi oiba nupa ga punna sanamina ba gi nuai ta ba koi ba amata lai ri da ba jinni valentina fitness kesampa junction opposite churasampur parking mafamasida jumba gym cardio na jingbe gi sana ba khudong cha ba su phangdi gani अयुपू मंगा नुमदापू निपा फाव सब फंबग लोन अकोप मरो वेलेंटीना फिटनेस कैसाप जंगसन की खाब लिंसीर उपीबिम वेलेंटीना फिटनेस कैसाप जंगसन ओपोजिट चुराचापू पार्किंग टेलीफोन नंबर नाइन सिक्स वन टू जीरो फाइव एट जीरो टू एट वेलकम बैक Lok Sabha MP R K Ranjan stated that BJP understands the sentiment of the people of Manipur. Talking exclusively to Tom TV, R K Ranjan said that India promised to protect the boundary, the language, and the culture of Manipur during the time of merger of the then kingdom with India. R K Ranjan also referred to the Treaty of Yandabo and talked about the issue pertaining to contentious border pillars along Indo-Myanmar border. मनपुर थी होता है इंडिया मर्स हे तो नाइनटीन फोर्टी नाइन एटीन अक्टोबर से हौरग अखोसी इंडिया की डिमोक्रेटिक सिस्टम यौरकान अपीप जाति की ओवरऑल प्रोटेक्शन आयदर बाउंडरी की ओर लैंग्वेज की ओर कल्चर की कल्चर लैंग्वेजर कलचर प्रोटेक्शन फंगनी है आईडिया अहलमन भारत यौबने ट्रीटी ऑफ यादन बोध पीरीब फुट हिल्स की चिंदोद फुट हिल्स फाउसीग बर्मा कबू वेली तब से तंपाक मई बर्मा की ओगने यानबनी इन रियलीटी अखोज बाउंडरी की चलूर से चिंदोद पीलर यूंगा यूंब कमन पीपल बाउंडरी मांगे है वाकलोन द पब्लिक एप्रिहेंशन ऑफ सिटीजनशिप एमेंडमेंट एक्ट आर के रंजन स्टेटेड दैट देयर इज क्लोज इन द इनर लाइन परमिट आईएलपी व्हिच विल सेफ गार्ड मणिपुर एंड हर पीपल फ्रॉम द एक्ट रंजन सजेस्टेड दैट वी शुड टेक केयर वाइल टैकलिंग इनफ्लक्स ऑफ आउटसाइडर्स 
Stating that India is a secular state, Ranjan said, said that Citizenship Amendment Act is based on secular principles and humanitarian policy. Uh, the uh, India constitution the secularism uh, secularism secularism based on humanity uh, Hindu as a religion national religion and a quick issue secularism is Islam even my belief to be that is called secularism Indian constitution means for India, not for Pakistan, not for Bangladesh, and not for Afghanistan. Ranjan stated that the agitation by man pack in Manipur should not be at the cost of the society or the nation. President of Scheduled Tribe Demand Committee Manipur STDCM Dheeraj Yumnam has underlined on the need of including the Meitei Mitei ethnic community under the Scheduled Tribe list in order to save their identity, territorial boundary and rights. He was talking to journalists today at Thamayban Konthonghanbi Imphal. Dheeraj expressed displeasure over the act of Manipur government diverting the issue on Scheduled Tribe status demand. He informed that a consultative meet will be held soon to deliberate on the demand of a constitutional safeguard for the people of Manipur and appeal to all local clubs, women organizations and pressure groups in the state to take part in the proposed meet. I think that the meeting you are going to be able to do the tribe issue. The CAB is not going to be able to do the CAB or no CAB. The CAB is not going to be able to do the CAB. Citizenship Amendment Act, the Amendment Lakhrabasu, Lakhrabasu, Manipur, the Sahi Kayadagi, Mapandagi, Infiltrators in Lakhana, Akogi, Lajariba, Maita Yamadi, Latra Mita in Lajariba, Central Manipur, Masiki Manipur Valley, the Lariba, Akogi, Ancestor, Lamdam Singhida, Laning Bakangu, Laiba, Masakundan Bakangu, Kundaba, I said Tingan of Haina to the Bamaruba, Akogi Movement Hesida. Nasi CAB, hai bersih pas tau kerbau su, masih enak tau kerbau su, aku lagi kudung tiba si adum lagi kini. The 50th short play competition for creative director 2019 has kicked off at Manipur Dramatic Union Imphal, organized by Theatre Centre Manipur in association with State Kala Academy under the aegis of Sangeet Natak Academy, New Delhi. 14 different theatre groups are taking part in this six-day-long competition. Theatre Centre Manipur President Nabha Warepa said that the short play competition is held for the creative directors to showcase their expertise on the rich cultural heritage of Manipur. Isagi Ojiba, Tadokogi, Wakalonga, Lenin, Lambda Masiki Inakula, Wakal Sergi, Lange Degi, I coin a lepolite and a Lotok Jeriba, Mayam Sing, a singer, Tongan Tonganba, artist key leader singer Duna, Makwegi, creative exercise, Matobi, Araga, Makwegi, Legeri, but creative potentialities, Amadi, creative energy, Mayam Sing, Adubu, Miam, the Sapongaga, Hena Papa Kunayam. At the end of the theater, the concert of the Lakhna Nabagidamakta Akoina, Sigumba Panda Mashida Akoina, Competition Nessi Akoina, Sinjanova Torang Togjavani. He further said that the competition will also provide a huge platform for the talented artist. Meanwhile, Home Minister Amit Shah cancels his trip to Shillong, where he was scheduled to visit Nortis Police Academy on Sunday. He will instead visit Jharkhand tomorrow and on Monday. At the same time, the 
Beldanga Railway Station Complex in West Bengal's Murshidabad district was set on fire and RPF personnel deputies there were trashed by thousands of people protesting against the amended Citizenship Act today. Several minority organizations in the district had called for mass protests, according to reports. The Delhi Metro Rail Corporation, DMCR, has closed entry and exit at Patel Chowk and Janpat Metro stations due to the students' protests against the Citizenship Amendment Act. Let's now have the sports news. In sports today, the Pakistan Cricket Board PCB has appointed former Test leg spinner Mustaq Ahmad as spin bowling consultant for a one-year term. According to the reports, Mustaq's first job will be to work with experienced leg spinner Yasir Shah at the National Cricket Academy in Lahore and get him ready for the second test against Sri Lanka in Karachi. Mustaq had worked with the West Indies team as spin consultant and was also a bowling coach at the National Cricket Academy. Before we wind up, let's have a quick look at the top news headlines once again. Amid Assam protests, Senjo Obe cancels India Japan Animal Summit in Guwahati. UN closely analyzing possible consequences of citizenship amendment bill, says UN. Citizenship Amendment Bill gets President Assent becomes Act. And Ram Madhav urges civil society groups, insurgent groups to come forward. Well, that's all for now. Keep watching Times of Manipur.